On a Creality CR10, CR10 Mini, or Ender 3, the hot end has two screws that connect the heat block to the heat sink. Now some people have said those two screws were left on there by mistake and they cause heat creep so they should be removed. Is that true? Well we're going to test it and I'll show you the results on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. A couple weeks ago I released a video showing how to add a rubber sock to your hot end on your Ender 3 to make it easier to remove filament blobs like this. Well some people noticed that I had these two screws on my hot end and that led to a bunch of comments. Some told me they need to be removed because of heat creep, some asked me if they need to be removed for heat creep, some commented to commenters saying yes they need to be removed. So here's a Creality hot end and here's the two screws in question. The red is the heat sink and the gold is the heat block. That's what gets really hot. The nozzle screws into that heat block and the PTFE tube goes down the center tube and meets up to the nozzle. Now that PTFE tube actually goes down into that really hot heat block and yet there was no issue with that. What they had issue was the screws getting up into the heat sink and then affecting this upper area of the PTFE tube. So that must be a lot of heat creep. So I wanted to test it. So I was curious how much heat creep you actually get from those screws. So the first thing I needed to do was remove the two screws that hold the fan shroud in place. Once those were out I could move the fan shroud to the side and have access to the heat sink and the hot end. Then I brought in a meter with a thermal couple. And I wanted to position this right near the screws on the heat sink. So I bent up the fan a little bit, put the thermal couple in there, and that way it squished down and I got good thermal conductivity to the sensor. And I was reading 32 degrees C, which seems a little high, but this actually would, had run, and so it was already cooling down a little bit. So obviously there is some heat into this thing because the room was like 25, 27 degrees C. So I put the shroud back on, and I tightened the one screw just to hold the fan in place. And then I needed to power this up. And I noticed that as soon as I turned power on, the temperature dropped to 26 to 25 degrees C. So the fan was blowing across that heat sink and cooling it down quickly. So then I went to prepare preheat PLA and it sets it to 185 degrees C. So I just had to wait for that to heat up. So I let it warm up to 185 degrees C and you can see that the heat is being transferred into the heat sink and it's going up from 25, 26 up to, it's going to eventually reach here 32 degrees C. Now heat creep takes time, so I let this set for like a half an hour, and I still was seeing about 32 degrees C. And a heat sink will absorb to a certain point, and the fan blowing across it will get rid of that heat. So at some point it balances out. 32 degrees C seemed to be that point. So now I decided to test without the screws and see how hot it got. I let the hot end cool down, I took the heat sock off, and then I removed the two screws in question. They just unscrew from the bottom, and once those were out, I wanted to run the same test. I had taken the thermal couple out, so I had to put it back in the same spot. I wanted the same setup. So that was in place. I put the fan back over the hot end and tightened with one screw to hold it in place. So everything's the same. And I was seeing about the same 32 degrees C on the heat sink, which makes sense. When I turned power on, the temperature came down from the fan, and then I clicked on Prepare Preheat PLA and let it heat up to 185 degrees, just like I did before. I did notice without the screws that it took a little longer for the heat to creep in, but it eventually settled out at that same 32 degrees C, which is the point where the fan and the heat sink work perfectly together to settle out the temperature. So then I took the fan off to see how hot this thing could get, and it settled out at like 42 degrees C. I could put my finger on that and not burn it. So I don't see how that's really going to affect the filament inside that PTFE tube. Once I let it cool down I did notice that the heat block was really loose. Now I know the nozzle can tighten up against the heat break and also the little set screw at the front could be tightened but these two screws going up through the block into the heat sink seem to really hold that in place which is what I want for my 3D prints. It's nice and solid. So based on this, the two screws may speed up the heat creep, but the fan and the heat sink keep this area of the PTFE tube and the filament nice and cool. So should you remove the hot end screws from your CR10, CR10 Mini, or Ender 3? Based on my testing, I say no. I think that's a myth. And just to make sure, I contacted Naomi Wu, the sexy cyborg on YouTube. She works with Creality. She lives near them. 
I said, can you ask Creality if those screws were a mistake and supposed to be removed? The answer I got back was, no, they're supposed to be there. So between that, my testing, if this was Mythbusters, I'd say this myth is busted. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, dollar a month to Patreon. If nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.